What's up, you 2 It's Mavic here. So today I'm just gonna make a quick application review of Bumtop. Um, so you may have seen a few other uh, tech reviewers, which are more like higher uh, end, um, like John for Lakers. Um, I think. Uh, I think so. Some other guys, Apple Sorter, definitely did one too. Um, so you might see since it's a quite a recent application for the Mac so uh, I'm just gonna make a quick app review so if you don't know what Bumplop is yet uh, it's just a 3D desktop as you see right here uh, it's a 3D desktop you can move around um, like that um, and it's it's quite a cool application it's really fancy and stuff so you can move things around on the walls um, like that um, so just a quick app review here so first off this is the free version the pro version is twenty nine dollars you can change the background of all the sides so all the sides you can change the background if you want to um, so you can just double click and then you can just change um, let me get something uh, what, what probably doesn't seem that nice at the sides because they rescale it and squeeze it uh, which I think is not really nice but uh, let let's make this one for example so kind of a gray thing there um, so as you see they just rescale it to make it fit the whole wall but uh, as I said you can change everything here uh, so then for the rest um, you can put on all the walls you can put your icons um, you can make them bigger you have a new note thing so you can just make a note um, and then uh, drag it around on walls and stuff. You may be wanting, uh, you may want notes and stuff. Um, you can just throw them away. Um, you can also put images, for example. Um, if you hover your mouse over it, you can, you have a little menu coming up. You can make it bigger, for example. This is the maximum size here. Um, and you can just put it on your wall there. Or you want to make it really, uh, small. You can shrink it to that's quite small definitely so it's it's nice that they have implemented that uh, even though they already have that without them top you can make their icons bigger or not but um so that's for that stuff then for the pals um which is quite a good feature for now um is this is the pals so if you have a ton of um icons here so if it's all messy and stuff I've got my screenshots uh, you can just select them all just by turning around like this you select stuff um, so you just select all your screenshots and then you uh, automatically put, uh, put up a menu so you can clean up um, if you don't know what clean up is that's just like when you have them all um, whoops you can throw those things it's quite funny how you can throw them actually those icons you can throw them that way and then they push the other ones uh, if it doesn't go too fast so if they're all messy and you select them all so let's start from here that that that, that. Uh, if you select them all and clean up it will put them in a perfect square and then you can pile them it will put them in a pile if you double click the pile it will pop up a window like that if you select a pile hit enter you can you can uh, name it if you want to um, oops screenshots whatever um, so you have that's quite good for organization you can do that with folders as well so uh, for the pro versions what it has more for now uh, as I said it's $29 uh, it has um, trackpad multi-touch trackpad uh, gestures so like you can make bigger like just by sque uh, squeezing and stuff like that um, it also has uh, unlim unlimited sticky notes because you can only have a maximum of two sticky notes when you're using the free version um, it does have a few other features um, if I remember uh, it doesn't have really like really new whole new features when you buying the new version it does have a little bit a little better uh, PAL system you can actually scroll through the PALs and you also have a desktop type uh, search search kind of thing uh, which is uh, um, type as you search or something I don't know how it's called it's actually just a spotlight if you use spotlight it's just spotlight for your desktop so it automatically show uh, search on your desktops uh, just by by naming and automatically also search through the pals so you don't need to to actually go in the pile and stuff and it automatically selects it for you so that's for twenty nine dollars is it worth it if you have the money it's probably you can definitely go and buy it other than that if you're hesitating I would say don't buy it just yet because um, I would wait for for a few 
for a newer version to come out which is more feature rich um, because right now it's not really really um, a full featured application I mean we can go through the preferences here but it's very limited um, preferences so you just have general for checking on updates and starting uh, w when you log in and you can change the backgrounds and that's actually it for now um, so for the pro version you can also put your product key so that's kind of it for the, the uh, free free version or well, the, the preferences at least so it's not very optional so I would like to have a more customization kind of thing um, or a little bit more a little bit more features maybe I was thinking about like putting windows or pictures like preview for example you open something up in preview and then putting that at the side for example I don't know something like that um, so I don't know a little more feature risk uh, I've tried this application on the um, PC uh, a while back so it's probably on X speed was I think uh, or Vista uh, I tried it out it was really nice on PC it was way wo more like feature risk I would say compared to the Mac version because this one is just new and um, and as well that the PC the standard PC desktop doesn't have that much like cool stuff and makes it really cool all of a sudden you know so um, I really I was quite impressed by the time when I checked out them the PC version so I'm not gonna make this too long sorry about that um, so thanks for watching this is kind of on top they don't have a huge amount of features so uh, yeah you can check the description you'll find my email if you have any questions you can also personal message me I have a forum a blog uh, you can add me on Skype all this kind of stuff uh, my gamer tag for Xbox live stuff like that is all in the description so please go check it out uh, if you haven't already Please subscribe as well and comment and rate five stars if you think it's worth it. So yeah, thanks for watching again. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Peace.